So today I want to share with you 10 of my homemaker kitchen essentials or staples that I find important to use in my kitchen. So these are not in any particular order. So the first up would be my cast iron skillets. I mainly cook with cast iron. Some days it's three meals a day in my cast iron skillet. Definitely breakfast every day. I have three different sizes and I just love using them. They're pretty easy cleanup, uh, no soap that you have to use. You just kind of scrape it down, wipe it out, and then of course you have to season it every once in a while. And so I just love my cast iron. That's probably truly my number one. Um, second is my Dutch oven. This I love because you can cook on the stove top or you can put it in the oven or both. So let's say you have a casserole and you need to cook up the noodles, put the noodles in and then bake it. It all goes in one pot and I just love my Dutch oven. I don't really use any of my other pots and pans that I have. I've actually been decluttering those because I haven't used them in six and a half years since we've been married. And so I just pretty much solely use my Dutch oven for those type of dishes. All right, the third is my Instant Pot. Now, I guess a slow cooker could kind of go in this category, but my Instant Pot is definitely a must for me. And there's been times I have forgotten to pre-cook some beans for something, and when they take only about 35 minutes in the Instant Pot, it is, uh, necessity for that when it's called for a dish and you only have an hour hour and a half left to make that meal you can also do so many other things in the instant pot you can slow cook it like I said I do a lot of broth making in there um, you can make yogurt I haven't tried that yet in there rice it's just pretty endless pressure cook things which is pretty much what the beans do um, from dry beans and so I absolutely love my instant pot all right the fourth would be a good cutting board with edges. So I like to have the ones that have the little ridge in it so that if I have meat I'm cutting per se and there's juices on it, it doesn't just run all over my countertop. Um, I know a lot of people love wood cutting boards. I don't have any that are large to cut meat and stuff on and I just think this one is a little, I have two, so two plastic um, cutting boards. It's a little easier cleanup that way too. Now you can find wood ones. I would probably prefer a wood cutting board with the edges of the ridge just because um, it's less plastic use as well. But I don't mind having these and they're so handy to cut lots of different things on. All right, my fifth is mason jars. I store things in mason jars. I drink water from mason jars. We have smoothies regularly in our mason jars. I can in mason jars. Mason jars are just endless. I don't use plastic Tupperware most of the time for storing things, and so mason jars are really great for storing leftovers. You can warm them up then, even in the microwave if you have to go to work. I just absolutely love mason jars. And so six would be connected to that, and that is the plastic screw on lids that go on top of those mason jars. Those are super handy for storing things. And honestly, like my snack cupboard, I like to have kind of a streamlined look. So I have my mason jars in there with the plastic lids or in the fridge, I put those lids on there and then you can actually write on them and say what it is or when the broth should be used by or whatnot. And I have gotten several from Amazon, so I'll put that link in the description box for you if you are interested in those. Um, my seventh essential would be good wooden spoons. With my cast iron, I use wooden spoons all the time. In Dutch oven, stirring anything, I really don't use a lot of metal or plastic. Um, I just prefer to use wooden spoons and different varieties like the slotted, the more rounded, or flat to help ground the meat, um, whatnot. I just really enjoy using my wooden spoons. My eighth, and this has become one of my favorites more so recently, is a food processor. Now this one you probably could live without. It just would take a lot more time to do things with. For example, shredding carrots 
it takes 30 seconds to shred carrots in the food processor or shredding a block of cheese because I don't like to buy the prepackaged um, bagged cheese just because of that coating on there. It doesn't melt as well and it's not as good for you. So shredding cheese takes 30 seconds to shred a block of cheese. Making baby food, which I'll be doing again here in quite a few months. So I just love my food processor, making ground beef sandwiches, whatnot. I truly like having the convenience of that and it helps speed things up as well. Number nine, I kind of like a twofold here, would be a good apron or they can be thrifted aprons too because mine are, and tea towels. So I love using tea towels to cover my doughs when they're rising or just to honestly dry hands with. Just having a nice tea towel or um, sackcloth type towel, grain sack towel, something of that sort. And then aprons are so handy to have when you are in the kitchen quite often because you often have splatters. So a nice apron that covers decently well is something I definitely re recommend. All right, and then number 10 would be our water filter. And I love our Berkey. Now we went without a water filter for so long. And once we got it about, oh, I'd say a year and a half ago, we fell in love with the taste of the water, um, just how the system of the Berkey filters out so many extra additives that are in water. And yeah, it kind of is inconvenient looking as well. But I think for the bang for your buck, it's the best system to have. We didn't want to put a, another spigot in our countertop either when we redid that three years ago. So then we didn't buy the filter till after, and so we would have had to make more holes in it. And that just would have been super inconvenient as well. But we love our Berkey. And I think that is just having a good filtration system is the way to go. So those are my 10 kitchen essentials that I truly think have helped me become a better homemaker in the kitchen and make processes a little faster, a little easier. Um, what are some of your favorite items that you use in the kitchen that you feel like you couldn't live without? I'd love to know. But anyways, I hope you are having a blessed and wonderful day and I will talk with you in my next video next week. Bye.